Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli Connect. Today in this video, we are going to integrate two software applications, WooCommerce and HubSpot. So the use case here is, whenever there is a new order in WooCommerce, we want to create contact in HubSpot. First, let us know what these two software applications are all about. So WooCommerce is a software application where you can set up your online store, whereas HubSpot is a marketing and sales software. Although WooCommerce and HubSpot might have some native integration between them, but this integration has certain limitations. And that is why we are going to use Pabli Connect, a third-party application software to integrate both these software applications. The best part here is you don't require any knowledge of coding. So let me show you this on my screen. Okay, so here I am at Google and now I will go to this URL section over here and I'm going to type pabli.com. Okay, so this is the website of Pabli and now I will hover over this product section over here and I'm going to select connect. Okay, so now I will sign in. Okay, so now because I have already signed into my account, that is why I am here. You can also sign up for free and create your free account in just two minutes. Here, I'd like to mention one more thing that you can try out this integration in Pabli Connect absolutely free. So if you want, you can create your account right now and set up your own automation. The link is available in the description box below the video. Okay, so now I will scroll down and here at connect, I am going to click on access now. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and now we are going to create a new workflow by clicking on this create workflow button. Okay, so let us name our workflow as WooCommerce to HubSpot. Okay, create. Okay, so here we are going to integrate WooCommerce and HubSpot using Pabli Connect. So first I am going to integrate WooCommerce with Pabli Connect and then I will integrate HubSpot with Pabli Connect. So here I am going to choose WooCommerce. Okay, now in choose method, you can see we have many trigger methods available. Now, according to our workflow, whenever our order is created in WooCommerce, we want to add contacts in HubSpot. So order created is going to be our trigger method over here. This one, new order created. Okay, so now you might have a doubt in your mind that what is this term called trigger? So let me explain you that automation runs on the concept of triggers and actions. It is all about when something happens, do this. For example, when a sale happens, send an email. In our case, when a new order is created in WooCommerce, create a contact in HubSpot. So new order created in WooCommerce is going to be our trigger, whereas creating contact in HubSpot is our action. So when you click on choose method, you can see we had many other trigger methods available. You can select whichever you want according to your workflow. And if you don't get the trigger method of your choice, you can contact our team at admin at the rate and our team will help you to look for your specific trigger. Okay. So now when you scroll down, you can see this webhook URL over here. So after choosing the app and choosing the method, what we do is we copy this webhook URL from here and we go and paste it inside the trigger software application, which is WooCommerce over here. So now again, you might ask me that what is this webhook? What have I been saying? So let me tell you that webhook is an essential way to get data from an external software at Pabli's end. So webhook helps you to build a connection between Pabli Connect and the trigger software application. Okay, so you can see these instructions are written over here. You can just follow them and go and copy this webhook URL inside the WooCommerce. So I'll just copy this webhook URL from here. I'll go to my WooCommerce account. So I've already opened my WooCommerce account over here. And here in home, you can see the settings over here. So now I will go to this advanced tab and then I will click on webhooks and I'm going to add the webhook. Okay, so now I'm going to name it as WooCommerce to HubSpot. Okay, now status is going to be active. And then topic, it has to be order created. This one. Okay, so now delivery URL. Here you have to paste the URL that you have got from Pabli Connect, the webhook URL. Okay, so now I'll go down and here in save webhook, I'm going to click. 
Okay, so now I'll click on save webhook again. Okay, so now I'm going to go to public connect and I'm going to capture the webhook response. Okay, so now we are waiting for webhook response. That means it is time to go and create a new order in WooCommerce. So I've already opened this page over here and we are going to buy Redmi 9. So I'm going to add it to cart. Okay, proceed to checkout. Okay, so the name is written. I'll just let it be same. I'll go down. Okay, so I'll just go down and I'm going to place the order. If you want, you can also change the details. Okay, so you can see the order has been received. We have successfully placed the order for Stephen and we have bought Redmi 9. So I'll go to Pabli Connect. You can see we have got our webhook response over here. Okay, let me see the name. Name is Stephen Stevenson. Company is over here. Okay, everything is over here. So I'll just save this. Okay, so here we have successfully finished our first step integration of WooCommerce and Pabli Connect. Now let's begin with the second step integration where we are going to integrate HubSpot and Pabli Connect. So I'm going to click on this plus button over here and I'm going to choose HubSpot. This one. Okay, so now in choose method we want as soon as an order is created in WooCommerce to create a new contact in HubSpot. So create a new contact is going to be our action over here. Now you can see we have many other action methods available. You can select whichever you want according to your choice. And if you don't get the action method of your choice, you can contact our team at admin at the rate pably.com and our team will help you to look for your specific action method. I'll select on create a new contact now. Okay, so now I'm going to connect with HubSpot CRM. Okay, so now here in new credentials, it is asking me for the API key. So you can read the instructions, log into your HubSpot account, click the settings icon setting in the main navigation bar. So I've already opened my HubSpot account over here. Here you can see the settings. And when you go down, you can see the integrations and under integrations, you can see API key. Okay, so here is the API key. Okay, so now I'll copy the API key from here. I'll go to Pabli Connect and I'm going to paste it over here. Okay, so now this API key is going to help us to build a connection between HubSpot and Pabli Connect. So I'll save it. Okay, so we have some empty fields over here. So we are going to get the information from our webhook response that we captured. So I'll just map the information above here. Email address first, let us map the email. Okay, first name, Stephen, last name, Stevenson, website is not required company. I have the details, TVS, phone, let me enter the phone. Okay, address, if you want, you can just map it or if you want, you can leave it. So I'll enter the address, address is this one, city, okay, state, MP, okay. Then now save and send test request. Okay, we have got the API response. That means we have finished our integration and now our integration will work fine. So I'm going to save this. Okay, so now it's time to go back to HubSpot and see if a new contact is created there or not. So I'll go to HubSpot. I'll go to contacts. Okay, so you can see Stephen Stevenson with the email stephen at the rate pably.com and the number is over here. So we have successfully finished our integration of WooCommerce and HubSpot. So now whenever there is a new order created in WooCommerce, a contact will be created in HubSpot. So now let me show you this process again with one more example so that you can understand how this integration takes place in real time. So I'm going to make a new order this time of a Rolex watch. So I'll add it to cart. Okay, proceed to checkout. I'll change the billing details. George, last name, D'Souza. I'll change the company, Hero. Okay, I'll change the number. I'll change the email, George at the rate pably.com okay so now i will place the order 
Okay, so you can see the order has been received. We have successfully placed the order for George and we have bought our Rolex watch. So now it's time to go back to HubSpot and see if this contact is created there or not. Okay, contacts, I'll just refresh this. Okay, so you can see George D'Souza, George at the rate .com, and the phone number is here. So we have successfully finished our integration and it is working very fine. So now I'll go back to Pabli Connect and I'm going to show you what has happened in our example. So in our example, what has happened is first the information came from WooCommerce to Pabli Connect and then it came from Pabli Connect to HubSpot CRM. So now whenever a new order is created in WooCommerce, a contact will be created in HubSpot. So we have successfully finished our integration of WooCommerce and HubSpot using Pabli Connect. Not just these two software applications, but you can integrate any software application using Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, you can contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com and our team will help you. For more, you can also visit our website at www.pabli.com. Thank you.